So meet the Sydney funnelweb spider, the world's most venomous spider, responsible for about 20 deaths in Australia. They're found in burrows in the ground around Sydney in Australia, uh, found nowhere else in the world. And what they do is they have these holes in the ground that are lined with silk, and they have these silk threads that come out to the outside and they're like trip lines. So as the prey comes past, they hit these trip lines and they send vibrations down the line to the spider who's sitting at the other end. The spider can work out from those vibrations whether it's a big mammal that's coming past, if that's the case, you sit in the bottom and shrink, or whether it's a little lizard or a moth or a grasshopper, if it's something like that, it bolts out of the, out of the hole in the ground, rears up on its back legs and then bang! sinks these two fangs into the prey item, injects it with venom, and then drags it kicking and struggling back into the funnel. Seriously cool spiders. The interesting thing is, it's only the males that have been implicated in human deaths. And the reason for this lies in the biology of the animals. Once the males become sexually mature, they've got one thing on their mind, and that's finding a girl. And they leave their burrows and immediately become exposed to predators. So to cope with that, they get an extra venom component. And that's the bit that causes problems for us if we're bitten. Now that's not as bad as it may seem, because in the 1980s, True and Sutherland produced an anti-venom for this spider. And since then, we've never had a death from a Sydney funnel web bite. 